Lankin's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Click? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, we we'll never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get them. the hell out of here. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck, just like we asked. He would grease his partner to make it look good. But you got dots, why well, take the chance? We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, but not like he'll be able to spend it. He better be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano paid. You're going to attract the cops. There they are. 
Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship. And this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says, dude? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. The next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. What the fuck are you doing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Guards at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. This is Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. say something about being hot. That's when we make our move. All right. Now, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. We need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. 